David here with Guide Recommended doing our Vice, Fly Tying Vice box openings. Don't know what's in this one. I think we have a wolf, Indiana. This is an Atlas, the Wolf Atlas Fly Tying Vice. Let's go through this guy. I'm gonna get my sheet out so we can talk about what Amazon says. Price, $1.79 on Amazon. It has a 4.5 plus, um, because it's just got the little stars. Let me see you. It's, it's over half, so $180, bucks, 179 Got this, instructions. We will put this guy together. Oh, what I like about it already, it comes with C-clamp and the finish is really nice of this rotary. Really like this so far. Okay, let's keep going. Got a heavy base. We're gonna weigh that in a second. We also got this uh, adapter for our, for our base. Let's put it together. Let me go through, make sure I'm hitting all the right things. So, rating, we talked about. Wait, wait for this guy. The base by itself. Really, it almost wants to be with this. Four pounds, almost four pounds of using. Four pounds, one ounce. Let me write that down so I got a copy of that for later. Four pounds, one. What's in it? What's contained in here? We got our normal rotary. The fit and finish is really, really nice. Um, we've got our C-clamp. That is an extra compared to a lot of our vices. And a nice, heavy base. I like heavy bases. It's got a blue powder coat, nice neutral color. I like light colors. Um, the Peak has a white base. The Regal had a black base. Let's put it together. What do we need to do? Comes with a couple of wrenches, and then we'll do our fit and finish evaluation. I'm super impressed with the machining on everything on this. It, uh, you ever touch something? It's American made, but it feels like quality materials went into it and then quality materials, you know, when they rounded and radiused all the edges. Really like that about this vice so far. The C-clamp, heavy duty, brass. Let's put this together. Pretty straightforward, right? I will. Got that. Open this thumb screw up. You can I'm even hearing it there, right? It sounds heavy duty. So one of the things I like immediately in the geometry, if you look at where the clamp is at, um, really it almost extends out to the point, the clamp and the weight, right? So really that in itself will stop things from tipping a lot. Just massive here, very smooth. I would imagine there might be some bearings in there even. Clamping, a uh, very fine clamp. When I say fine, I'm sure you could clamp down to um, small hooks, 20s, 22s. Um, I am going to snap in a, I bent most of these guys up. A streamer hook. What we got in here? Oh, here's a nice one, heavy duty. Looks like to be about a number six. So adjustment on our clamp. So draw it back and hook this. Draw it down. All right. Stick that in. That's in there. 
um, clamping really nice. It's got actually some little grooves in there. It's a true rotary. Now let me adjust that just a little bit. True rotary and what I'm getting at there, line through that center, this uh, neck here offsets it so it kind of keeps it kind of all rotating the same. All right, bend test. Oh, look at that. I thought I really clamped that guy down. So far, if I was to say the bend test would be, the winner would be our, our peak. All right. Just a little bit. Oh, you know what? It slid in there. And I got this cammed over pretty good. Some of those other ones, I've actually been able to spin the hook right into a circle. Not able to do it with this guy. And I would think be able to reef down on this clamp. Again, it's almost like the clamp doesn't want to grab hold. So, that's like major no-no. Let's give it some scores. Fit and finish. I would say fit and finish. It just looks like a well-machined um, vice. C-clamp included. That's a plus. So fit and finish. I would give it 8 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Um, for ease of assembly, really easy to assemble. I didn't need these tools at all. Basically screw things together. Uh, what else we got on our list? Our clamp. Big, uh-uh. I'm not liking the clamp at all on this. Um, four out of 10. I think it would probably hold well enough to tie some small flies. But having something as heavy duty as, and robust as this is and not having the clamp be able to bend hooks easily like all the others, um, definite no-no. Uh, Included is our material spring. That's not that big a deal. So that is our Atlas Rotary from the guys over at Wolf, American Meat. Hey, before we go too much farther, take a quick break. If you can, in the description below is a link to a free little class. It's a video, 20 minute video with downloads, how to set up a fly rod for dry fly fishing. It comes with some download PDFs. It comes with video instructions. Um, also, later in the sequence of emails, I just share some great stuff. Checklists of fishing gear, um, a list of like 50 fly fishing tips I've used over the years. Some good stuff, so check it out in the description. <laughs> 